Now here, we have some missing number division and multiplication problems. But these first two problems aren't really missing number problems at all. And that's because all we have on this side of the equal sign is an answer box. And it doesn't matter whether the equal sign comes at the start of a calculation, like it does here, or at the end, like it usually does, we do the same thing. So 7 times 5 is 35. Now, something equals 14 divided by 2. Again, all we have on this side of the equal sign is an answer box, and 14 divided by 2 is 7, because 7 times 2 is 14, so that's our answer. Now, 4 times something equals 32. Here, we have a missing number multiplication. And whenever we have a missing number in a multiplication problem, we can always divide to find our missing number. So here, we just need to work out 32 divided by 4. That's 8, because 8 times 4 is 32. So our missing number is 8. Now, something times 3 equals 27. Again, it's a missing number multiplication, so we can divide to find our missing number. 27 divided by 3 is 9, because 9 times 3 is 27, so our missing number is 9. Now, something divided by 8 equals 6. Here, we have a missing number division. And in this question, it's the first number or the dividend that's missing. Now, division problems can be read backwards as multiplications. So to find our missing dividend, we can work out 6 times 8. That's 48, which means that 48 divided by 8 is 6. And finally, 24 divided by something equals 4. Well, here, it's the second number, or the divisor, that's missing. And if the divisor is missing, we still use division to find our missing number. We can work out 24 divided by 4. That's 6, because 6 times 4 is 24, so our missing number is 6. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. So notice, when it's multiplication, we can always use division to find our missing number. But if we have a missing number in a division problem, it depends on whether it's the first or the second number that's missing. If it's the first number, then we can use multiplication to find the missing number, because division problems can be read backwards as multiplication problems. But if it's the second number or the divisor that's missing, we still use division to find our missing number. So now, let's take a closer look at some of these questions. We had something times 3 equals 27. To work out our answer, we divided 27 by 3 and got 9. Now what we can do on a number line is count up in steps of 3 until we get to 27. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. And notice that we've made 9 jumps altogether, so that's how we know our missing number must be 9. Now we can make a number family triangle out of these numbers. So we have 9 and 3, the numbers that we multiply on the bottom, and then 27, so our answer, on top. And this number family triangle can tell us four different calculations. It tells us that 9 times 3 is 27, and it also tells us that 3 times 9 is 27. Because remember, we can multiply numbers in any order to get the same answer. But it also gives us two division facts. It tells us that 27 divided by 3 is 9, and 27 divided by 9 is 3. So if we divide the top number 
by one of the bottom numbers, we'll get the other bottom number. Another question we had was something divided by 8 equals 6. We know that division problems can be read backwards as multiplication problems. So to find our missing number, we worked out that 6 times 8 is 48. Now what we could have done here is count up in steps of 8, or count up 6 steps of 8. We can count 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. So because we've made 6 jumps of 8 and got to 48, we know that that's our missing number. Again, we can make a number family triangle using these numbers. We can have our dividend, so the number that we're dividing on top, and then our divisor and our quotient below. And again, this number family triangle gives us four calculations. It tells us that 6 times 8 is 48, and that 8 times 6 is 48 as well. It tells us that 48 divided by 8 is 6, and that 48 divided by 6 is 8. Now another question we had was 24 divided by something equals 4. So to find our missing number, we divided 24 by 4, and because that's 6, we know that 24 divided by 6 must be 4. Now on a number line, to show this calculation, what we can do is count up in steps of 4 until we get to 24. So we can count 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So we've counted in steps of 4, and because it took us 6 jumps to get to 24, we know that our missing number must be 6. Again, we can make a number family triangle from these numbers. Again, we put the dividend on top, the number we're dividing, and our answer below. And again, this gives us four calculations. It tells us that 6 times 4 is 24, and that 4 times 6 is 24. It tells us that 24 divided by 4 is 6, and that 24 divided by 6 is 4.